Hi, today we're going to make some stuffed bell pepper soup in the Dutch oven. So what I'm doing, I have my 12 inch Dutch oven here. I'm using my one that's made by Camp Made. And I got 20 coals underneath. It's been preheating for about 10 minutes. So what we're going to do first is we're going to brown the, the hamburger. This is the kickstand lid lifter. You can just set your lid like that. I got the hamburger right here. This is a pound of on the ground beef. Put that in. Hear that little sizzle. Oh, cool. So there's the ground beef. And then we're going to add the, the color to it. So we have a yellow onion, a green bell pepper, and a red bell pepper. Put all this in here. So I'm just going to leave the briquettes on the bottom and see how it does. It might be enough heat. So I haven't decided if I'll put any on the top or not. We'll just put the lid on and cook it and see how it goes from there. Once this is done, then we'll go to the next step. So this is a cement garlic. Calls for a tablespoon. This is a teaspoon, so one tablespoon equals three teaspoons. So we'll do that. Put that there. I got me some spare briquettes right there. So when we need some more heat, if we do, we can load it up. And yeah, this looks good. It's going to cook up good, I think. It'll probably take, I don't know, 15 minutes, give or take, to get this ready to go to the next step. So we'll just scramble this up and we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're ready. The hamburger and the, the bell peppers and onions, they're done. I put a dozen or so briquettes on the top just to get it heated up good, but it took cooked up nice. Look, it's all steamy. I drained some of the juice out of the bottom. Yeah, that looks awesome. The peppers are still kind of firm, but we're gonna simmer pretty good now. So what I have here is let's do uh, this. Uh, one can of tomato, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce? Tomato sauce. Put that in there. And then we have two cans of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. glasses I can't tell what the ounces are but there it is 10 ounce cans and then it calls for uh, we're gonna do uh, two cups of beef broth I'm gonna get this pretty hot so we can get this simmering good. And then after this step, we'll we'll be adding the rice. That'll be fun. Let's give this a stir here. Now I want to simmer this pretty good. Get this all heated up all the way through. It'll cook those veggies a little bit more. But I still have. Let's look at the bottom briquettes. They're still good, so some of them aren't even burning very good. Let me grab this. Let me move them around. Sometimes the Dutch oven legs sink into the dirt and it cuts off the airflow to your briquettes. So I'm just going to leave those bottom ones like that. Set that on there. See if we can level that up a little bit. There we go. Set that there. And let's, let's load, load some more on the top. I'm, I'm going to let this cook for like 15 minutes. And at that point, we'll check it. We'll see how it's doing. If it's simmering a lot, we'll pull some heat off. If it's doing good, we'll just let it go. So we'll see you back. 
All right, it's been 15 minutes. Let's look and see what's going on in this Dutch oven. I haven't peaked or nothing. So this is this is part of the surprise. You never know what you're gonna see when you lift the lid. <laughs> it's not quite simmering yet. Let me give it a stir. Yeah, it is. It's steaming. But yeah, those briquettes, they're just not, the dirt's too soft a little bit right here. See, they're, they're not quite burning good enough because it's like cutting off all the heat. So let's make a fire. Yeah, soup over the fire. I wanted to make this over the fire on a tripod, but the air quality, air quality here. We just kind of let it go. So I'm just going to put some of these coals that are burning good on there. Trying to get that to sit there. It looks it's good. okay. This is a, yeah, we're okay. We'll just slow cook it. It has enough heat under there. It's, it's starting to get it warm, but slow cooker in the Dutch oven. I have a few more here. I think I'll put a few more on there. Let's give it another 15 and see what happens. So we'll see you back. Oh yeah, look at that. Now that's what we need. So what I did is see this, this bed of coals right here. What I did is I think I smothered them and I had too many there, the Dutch oven sunk into the dirt, and so I just made another ring over here. So we got 10 briquettes under there. This is a 12 inch Dutch oven. I have like 15 or so on there, but that is cool. It smells good. That is awesome. So this is the last step. We have a cup of instant rice we'll pour in here, and this this will just take a few minutes. So we'll probably just let this cook for two or three minutes and we'll check it at that point but look it's simmering up good so that's what we needed so the soft dirt I had way too many briquettes I could have maybe done 15 to cook the hamburger and then I should have just cut it back to 10 on the bottom but we're okay we slow cooked it for a little bit it's going now to it's be bubbling perfect bubbling goodness so we'll see you back in a couple minutes to see how this rice is doing okay it's been like two and a half minutes so let's see how this this is going yeah I think it's can still cook look at that that's turned out good I bet two or three more minutes and we're good that looks delicious So we'll be back. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off the heat and just set it there and let it stand for like two or three minutes instead of leaving on that heat. Cause the instant rice directions say, when you put it in there, take it off the heat. So it simmered there for two and a half minutes or so. And we'll pull the heat, I'll dump those off and we'll give it like two or three minutes and it should be okay, good. Okay, it's been three minutes, so we should be good. Let's lift the lid off. Look at that, that smells awesome. Those colors are pretty good. I want to try this out. Do that. Let me set that there. I'm going to put the lid back on. I even have a few crackers. Yeah, stuffed bell pepper soup. Super hot. I'm blowing on it first. Mm. Those peppers are perfect. It is hot. Oh, cracker. And good. Hope you like this video. We'll see you next time.